Good morning guys, it's Ben here. We're going to do an out-of-the-box review of the Warlord Titan from the Adeptus Titanicus range. I'm going to attempt to make a smaller variant of the actual Warlord um, that I already have. However, I'm going to have to modify Bala, Koso, Volcanic Cannons and Kitbashan to produce this guy. So, what have we got on there? Box standard, we've got a couple of decals probably involved in there, the whole build. Uh, again, I'm gonna have to switch out the Sun Fury uh, Plasma Annihilator and create my own Badakoso Volcano Cannon because I don't presume anyone really wants to sell part of it. I have a look, see what's going on, and I don't presume anyone has just a part of the Adeptus Titanicus uh, Warlord Titan as such. So, let's get in there. Okay. Alright, we'll put that one back here for a moment. Out of view. So, Titanicus. That's actually a pretty good set of instructions. The void shields on there, for example. That's pretty nice, actually. Yep, yeah, okay. Feels quite nice, actually. Nice kind of powdery finish. Okay, so the Sun Fury. I'm not quite sure as to why there's so many sides to it. I'm sure that'll become relevant. I presume you can have one on either arm. That's how they've set it up. Uh, and then you've got the Arak Power Claws. Ooh, that's nice. It might be okay then. We'll see how it goes though. I might just have... Uh, I know they'll be for the shoulders as such. Which basically be exactly the same thing as those. But yeah, no, that'd be quite nice to make up actually, I think. Relatively straightforward. I've squeezed quite a lot onto the actual sprues themselves. Yeah, I'm actually quite excited to make this. The only thing I might do, although I've got the patent for the wolf head, um, for the warlord, full size warlord, I don't have one for the smaller one, so although I'd be tempted to do work on it just to reduce the size of it. Um, yeah, I think I'll skip that maybe. I might just go for Shapeways, but yeah, I will go for Shapeways. Um, I'll look under Gadget Plus, uh, Shane Bloomberg's uh, Wolfhead. I'm sure that will fit because I've had them on nights before, and they're a bit small until you put them on, and they're the perfect size for the nights. But I think if I don't include the back they'd be just small enough for the ward itself which is ideal because I would like it to be very similar to the one I've got now the head's just there as such I will probably put that on an actual knight or an armager or I'll probably put that on the kit box to be honest more than likely same goes to the shields I'm no interest in using these shields at all the reason for that is I will utilise Space Wolves' normal round shields as such uh, to represent the actual Blizzard shields that I've had used on my board yeah, and the decal. No use for that at all, but nice to see you actually got one in the box, as per what was on the written on the back of the box anyway. Base. Um, I'm going to change that base. There's some very nice bases I've uh, seen recently. Oh, 2006. So they've had this as a pipe dream for quite a while then, unless this, this is just a recycled base, which probably is just a recycled base, I'd imagine. So yeah, so you go back for the parts, and then I'll call it a day on that one. So your base, your decals, most of your weapons, I presume. The actual main body of it, and the legs and feet. And then the actual plates, it would be nice to do a little bit of freehanding on there, I might practice a little freehanding 
and try and represent that on there and obviously the same as uh, on my knee pads uh, shoulders uh, yeah they are made of three parts the same as the actual warlord itself so yeah I think this is very doable um, my warlord is starting to chip in a few points so I'm gonna actually do a little patch up work um, should be fine though. But anyway, right, thank you very much for uh, watching, and hopefully I haven't bored you too much, so that's likely. Alright, um, have a good day.